Now to our hospitals in this sobering prediction from a leader at a local hospital. She says our largest surge in cases could happen this week. KPRC 2's Bill Spencer joins us now with a closer look at what hospitals are seeing. And Bill, most of the key metrics still headed in the wrong direction. That's true, Chris and Dominique. In fact, just yesterday, the Texas Medical Center reporting a staggering 4,445 brand new cases. That's enough to give healthcare leaders, even at the highest levels, great cause for concern. The number of brand new COVID-19 cases reported in the Texas Medical Center grew by 580 people today. If this rate of infection and hospitalization continues, the vice president of Houston Methodist, Roberta Schwartz, says within days, Methodist doctors will see the largest surge in cases they've ever seen. We're growing at a rate of about 50 a day. That would take us higher than any other surge. If this doesn't slow down, you will um, be on track to be 20, 30, and 40% higher than we've ever seen before. At the same time, the number of severely sickened patients being admitted to ICUs is also growing. Within the Texas Medical Center, there are currently 1,404 ICU beds occupied. There are 440 current COVID-19 patients in those beds, but there are still nearly 300 more beds available in what's called phase two and still more available in phase three. So how do hospitals decide who goes into the ICU? ICU and which patients go to regular rooms. Basically, it comes down to who requires the most care. Those patients who are ventilated, those patients who are on ECMO, who need extra support for their lungs, those patients who are on uh, advanced heart devices, Okay, and also in the ICU, you got to remember it takes a lot more personnel, more staff members, doctors and nurses to take care of those very sick patients. In a regular hospital unit, it is one nurse for every five patients, but in ICU, it could be as many as two nurses for every one ICU patient. Reporting live, Bill Spencer, KPRC 2 News.